Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang addition and subtraction of mixed numbers. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So meron na akong separate video sa part 2 ng addition and subtraction of fractions that involve whole numbers and mixed number. So sa video na to ay tuturuan ko kayo ng another solution or basically ito yung general solution kapag mag a tayo at magsusubtract ng mixed number. So bibigyan ko kayo ng examples of subtraction and addition of fractions that involve mixed numbers at isosolve natin gamit yung unang method and then i-verify natin kung magtatali ito sa sagot natin gamit ang solution na ituturo ko sa inyo sa video na to. So let's start with the first example. So we have 2 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 1 fourth. So, isolve natin siya gamit yung first method. So, add muna natin yung fractions na 2 third at 1 fourth. So, since dissimilar fraction sila, hanapin natin yung LCD. So, yung LCD nila ay 12, right? So, for 2 and 2 thirds, we have 12 Divided by 3 is 4 times 2 is 8. And then, we affix the whole number 2. For 1 and 1 fourth, we have 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 1 is 3. And then, we affix the whole number 1. So, therefore, similar fractions na sila. Pwede na natin i-add yung fractions. So, we have 8 plus 3 over 12. And then for the whole number, add lang din natin sila. We have 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, our final answer is 3 and 11 over 12. I-verify natin sa another solution natin kung magpaparawa sila ng sagot. So we have 2 and 2 thirds plus 1 and 1 fourth. So dito sa solution na to, Ang unang step ay pareho natin i-convert sa improper fractions yung dalawang mixed numbers. So for 2 and 2 thirds, we have 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8 over 3. Plus, for 1 and 1 fourth, we have 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4. And then, tsaka natin sila i-add. Since dissimilar nga sila at alam natin na ang LCD nila ay 12, convert muna natin sila into similar fractions. So for 8 over 3, we have 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2 is 32. And then for 5 over 4, we have 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 5 is 15. And then, add na lang natin yung numerators kasi similar naman na sila. So, we have 32 plus 15 over 12. So, we have 47 over 12. And since this is an improper fraction, convert natin siya sa mixed number. So, we have 47 divided by 12 is, is 3 remainder 11. So therefore, 47 over 12 is also equal to 3 and 11 over 12. So therefore, pareho lang nung nakuha nating sagot doon sa nauna nating solution. So let's try another example. This time, let's subtract fractions. So we have 3 and 1, 6. Minus 1 and 5 over 6. So, solve natin gamit yung unang solution natin. So, subtract muna natin yung fraction part. So, we have 1, 6 minus 5 over 6. Since similar naman sila, automatic i-subtract na natin yung numerator. So, we have 1 minus 5 over 6. But notice na magni-negative yung answer natin. Magiging negative 4 over 6. So, hindi pwede. So, 
manghihiram tayo ng whole number doon sa 3. Gaya nung ginawa natin sa example natin sa part 2 ng subtraction of fractions. So, we have yung 3 magiging 2 na lang dahil nang hiram tayo ng isang buo. And then, yung hiniram natin na isang buo ay gagawin nating 6 over 6. Para maging similar siya doon sa fraction na 1, 6. And then, i-add natin doon sa 1, 6. So, magiging 2 and 7 over 6. And then minus 1 and 5 over 6. Okay, pwede na nating i-subtract yung fraction. So, we have 7 minus 5 over 6. And then for the whole number, we have 2 minus 1 is 1. Therefore, our final answer is 1 and 2 over 6 or may GCF pa yung 2 tsaka 6 so divide natin sa 2 both numerator and denominator so we have 1 and 1 third so now let's try to solve this using our second method so we have 3 and 1 6 minus 1 5 over 6 so, convert natin yung mga mixed numbers sa improper fraction. So, for 3 and 1, 6, we have 6 times 3 is 18 plus 1 is 19 over 6. Minus 1 and 5, 6, convert natin sa improper fraction. So, we have 6 times 1 is 6 plus 5 is 11 over 6. And then, we can now subtract the numerator since they are similar fractions. So, we have... 19 minus 11 over 6. So, we have 19 minus 11 is 8 over 6. Or, since ito ay improper fraction, convert natin siya sa mixed number. So, we have 8 divided by 6 is 1, remainder 2. So, therefore, 8 over 6 is equal to 1 and 2 over 6. Or, since 2 over 6 is not yet in simplest form. Divide pa natin sa GCF nila na 2. We have 1 and 1 third. So therefore, same lang dun sa nakuha nating sagot using the first solution. Okay, now let's try to solve another example. 2 and 1 half plus 1 and 1 third minus 1 and 1 fourth. So, gamitin na natin directly yung bago nating method. Yung convert natin lahat ng mixed number into improper fraction. So, we have 5 over 2 plus 4 over 3 minus 5 over 4. Since they are dissimilar fractions, hanapin natin yung LCD nilang tatlo. So, obviously, 12, right? So, we have 12 as the LCD. Then, convert natin sa equivalent fraction. So, for 5 over 2, we have 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 5 is 30. For 4 over 3, we have 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 4 is 16. And for 5 over 4, we have 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 5 is 15. And then, perform na lang natin yung addition and subtraction. So, we have 30 plus 16 minus 15 all over the same denominator of 12. So, we have 30 plus 16 minus 15 is simply 31 over 12. Since improper fraction, convert natin siya sa mixed number. So, we have 31 divided by 12 is 2 remainder 7. So therefore, our final answer is 31 over 12 or 2 and 7 over 12. When we deal with subtraction and addition of mixed number. So, i-convert muna natin yung mga mixed number sa improper fraction 
before we can proceed to the addition and subtraction of fractions. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.